Trading is hard. One of our biggest problems as traders is because we can't control our emotions. The strategy can be good. You can be making money. Your analysis can be good. But keeping your emotions going while least you are trying to make money is very, very hard. Which is why in this video, I'm going to show you how I created a robot and gave it $100 to try and trade and make money. But before we get started, I want to thank fastball.com for helping us create this video. So the first thing that I do before placing any trade is to go to fastball.com and I go to the economic calendar. The economic calendar shows you high impact events. High impact events are events that might end up affecting the market movement and it might increase the volatility of the market. And most of the time that is going to destroy your age because is going to affect your strategy. So after the economic calendar, the next thing that you can get from Fastable is the AI signals. So the AI signals are signals that are created by AI and you can place trades according to these signals as they are moving. Also, there's different analysts that you can find on this website. Make sure to check out fastable.com using the link in the description below or in the pinned comments. Oh, to use the robot, the first thing that happened is I wanted to buy the robot to make it easy. But when I went to the MetaCourts website, I found out that the average price of a robot here is about $900 and I'm not going to spend that amount of money. So obviously the next step was trying to build the robot myself, which I tried. I went on to learn the MQL5 language, which is the MetaCourts language, which is the language that you can use to program trading robots on MetaTrader and this language is not like Python. I've learned Python is easier a little bit but this is a little bit complicated. So I spent days trying to learn this on YouTube. I also bought some courses on Udemy and then I tried learning MQL5 for some time but to be honest after about four or five days I didn't see any progress of what I was doing. Think about it. number one, I needed to find a profitable strategy. I needed to make sure that this robot stays within parameters for risk management and learning all these things and building it on a programming language. It's a almost a non-starter for me. So I wanted to give up. Then after a few days, the next thing that happens is I thought about, okay, what if you can build the robot without coding? Let me go and research that. So I researched that and I found two websites. The one is called eabuilder.com. The second one is called fxdreamer.com. So I purchased EA Builder for $40 a month and I purchased FX Dreamer for $29 a month. And I needed to learn these two websites and see which one is best for me. So I tried EA Builder, I didn't like it, and then I came to FX Dreamer, which had like a platform which is very neat to use and you can see things very clearly. But for me to use this website for the first time, I didn't know anything about it. So I went on to Udemy and I bought a course. I, I bought this course for $48. It doesn't look very cheap. It doesn't look very expensive, but it looks valuable. It has a lot of lessons. So I started learning and learning and learning and learning. And after about two weeks of learning FX Dreamer, I was good with the website, but now I needed a strategy that gives me profits. So I kept going over and over and over again, doing different strategies. I tried candlestick patterns, I tried crossovers, I tried MACDs, I tried uh, Bollinger Bands, I tried almost a lot of indicators, but I wasn't getting the breakthrough. You see, there were some times when the bot was very profitable, but the problem is, if you are using indicators like this, it means if the indicator works well on a trending market, your bot is going to make money on a trending market. But when the indicator goes into a range, the bot is going to struggle and lose a lot of money and it will leave you in a very big drawdown. It was about two months of me trying and trying and trying over and over again. So for the first month, no progress, nothing. Second month, still no progress. All the EAs were not profitable. I needed a way to change that. And the question was, how am I going to do this? So I started researching again and again. Three months later, I found two systems. The first one was a grid system. 
the second one was a zone recovery system a grid system is a system that buys and sells at the first at the same time if the market goes up it's gonna buy and sell again at another level to cover the losses of a losing trade and then it takes profits for the winning trade when the market drops again you buy again you cover the losses of uh, the, the losing trade that you have just placed and then it also covers the first trade that you gain that you got and you end up having profits it's a very big system if you want to learn more about it i'll leave the link popping up on the screen and i'll show you a video when i explained how it works i didn't like this and i i know that this system can be effective but also i didn't like it because it was hard for me to create number two it created very big drawdowns in my account so i know that for me to trade a small account i, I need something that it doesn't have a lot of drawdowns then after that i went on to the other system which is called zone recovery system what the zone recovery system is after you do your analysis and you trade you place a trade instead of placing a stop loss at a certain level you place a different direction trade for example if i'm trading if i'm trading a buy trade here and if i wanted to put my stop loss here i would put instead of a stop loss i would put a sell stop so that when the market hits this stop loss instead of taking me out of the market it just neutralizes the it just maintains this loss because now i am in another sell trade it's also a very big topic but i researched into it and i spent maybe a month or so researching about it the advantages the disadvantages the drawdowns how it happens uh how can how is how dangerous it is and i can tell you it uses some kind of martingale which is dangerous but for this bot i wanted to make sure that no matter the losses that bot goes it needs to stay in a range so i kept going and now i started building the robot on fx streamer oh oh guys So oh, I went back to all the robots that I was building and I took the one that was using Bollinger Bands and this one had a high win rate but it, it only won when the market was ranging. It was doing bad when the market was trending. So, but it had a very big win rate. The risk to reward was bad so that I could it couldn't be profitable on its own. Then I took this system and then I combined that with the zone recovery system and I came up with the robot that we now call the profit hunter. let me show you how this robot performs. okay now let's test the robot with only 50 bucks so i will change a few things here this is the same ea i will just put in 50 dollars and then i will reduce my stop loss and my take profits so the stop loss is reduced directly on the ea on the builder but the take profit you can change things on the input right here put any take profit that you want but my recommendation is three dollars per each and every trade because you are going to use the smallest lot size and you can see that starting with only fifty dollars we'll see how the ea performs so i'll click start right now Now, here are the results. The EA managed to take that $50 to $110. And you can see the graph is moving smoothly.